Hi, I'm Allie. You may remember me as Baba Sheep from Mother Goose Club. But I'm embarking on a new adventure with my friend, Alfie. Join us as we explore the fascinating animal kingdom. Wild, wild, wild. It's Wild Wild Wow! Allie, did you know that when some animals are first born, they're completely different animals from their parents? You mean like how a caterpillar changes to a different creature called a butterfly? Yes, or how tiny little things called larvae grow up to become starfish. Lots of fish and insects change from one animal to another. Do you remember what that change is called, Alfie? Hmm, it's called metamorphosis. Spot on. And I know an animal that can really show us how metamorphosis works. Cool. Can we see what it is? Absolutely. Come on, everyone. Let's take a look through the creature scope. I wonder what this creature is. We'll soon see, Alfie. Hey, I know these animals. They're frogs. They are. And we're very lucky to live in a world with all kinds of frogs. Brown frogs, golden poison frogs, red-eyed tree frogs. There are over 7,000 different kinds of frogs. Wild. But have they all been born as a different type of animal? They start off as eggs laid by female frogs. These eggs are known as frog spawn. And what happens when the eggs hatch? Out pop these wiggling little creatures with long tails that I'm sure you've seen before. Tiny tadpoles. Exactly. Those tails help them swim around while they look for plants to feed on. So they can grow bigger and stronger. Correct. Then, for about the next three months, the tadpoles start to change. They lose their tails, and their eyes become larger. They also start to grow small front legs and bigger, very strong back legs. And now they're ready to hop out of the water and onto land. Amazing! Who could believe that these big, beautiful frogs start their lives as teeny, weeny little tadpoles? I would love to see a tadpole up close. We can, and I know how. Wild, let's go. Come on, guys. Time for a ride in the Zippy Zoomer. Ready, everybody? Let's wild, wild, wow. Hey there, kids, come gather around. Come meet the animals, adventures abound. Learning, exploring, let's seize the day. Here we are at Wildlings, and I know someone who can show us some tadpoles. Wild! Hi, I'm Allie, and this is Alfie. Hi. Hi, I'm Shaz. What do we have here? Uh, we have tadpoles here, and we have two different types of tadpoles. One would be the giant Asian toad, and one is the banded bullfrog. And here in this container, we also have a banded bullfrog, actually. So do you want to see them? Cute. So for tadpoles, to become a frog, it takes about 14 weeks for them to change from a newly hatched uh, tadpole to a frog. It takes 14 weeks for a frog to go from a tadpole to a frog. As you can see, for some of them, when they change from one stage to another, first would be the hind legs will grow out first. You can see that some of them has got their hind legs growing out. And then after that, their front legs will then grow out and slowly the tails will disappear and then they'll become a frog and they'll, they'll jump out of the water then. Oh. So where we can find them in the wild is when there's a water body that doesn't move or still water. So that's where frogs will lay their eggs. Right? And then um, for frogs, like the tree frogs, they usually lay their eggs. It's a foamy kind of egg near the water body. And then when the eggs hatch, the tadpoles will then just drop into the water. Yeah, that's where you can find them. Wow. Frogs like to lay their eggs in water that doesn't move. 
So you can actually keep frogs as pets, but it's actually a big responsibility because you have to ensure that they have the right environment for them to live in. So they need proper food and proper quality of water um, and everything that they need because if you do not do that, then it's not going to be good for them. Keeping frogs as pets is a big responsibility. and big bright eyes and a crooked little beak at the front my mom is so much taller my dad is so much braver they're big flamingos i'm just a tiny chick but i'll grow 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 and get strong 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 and one day i'll be like them too i'm tiny and small but that's just for now i'm still Are you ready to try and guess which animal I am? Let's see how we go. My body can be quite small or quite big. I'm very squishy to the touch and you can see right through me. I have lots of thin wavy tentacles and I live in the sea, mostly underwater, but sometimes floating on top of it. You'll often see me washed up in the sand and even though I'm not moving, you won't want to step on me because I can give you a painful sting. Have you guessed which animal I am? Yes, I'm a jellyfish. Okay, everyone, time for us to be going. We'll see you again soon, but before we go... Don't forget, we always say, it's wild, wild, wild now. now. It's wild, wild, wild. wild.